Today's video is brought to you by ZenThreadShop.com, the online store that makes a real difference. When you purchase from them, they donate a portion of their net proceeds to Beyond Giving, a 501c3 organization that currently provides funding to create and staff a nonprofit training center at which the underserved will acquire the entrepreneurial skills necessary to become self-sufficient. It's a great cause, and they've got some great stuff, so check them out today. Now on to the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're trying to answer the question, should I play a different type of music? In this video, we'll take a look at what constitutes a genre of music, some famous artists that made changes to their music, and what's in it for you if you decide to change the game you've been playing. Who knows? Maybe you're the polka master the world's been waiting for. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. One of the great joys of running Room 6 is the exposure I get to multiple types of genres. Each interview brings the possibility of expanding my musical awareness and horizons, along with introducing me to styles of music I didn't even know existed. From good old rock and roll to Senegalese world music, one thing remains common among the musicians I welcome to my channel, the desire to learn more. Some have even changed their genre of music throughout the years, while others changed their main instrument. Let's look at what a genre actually is. The Oxford Dictionary defines it as a category of artistic composition, as in music or literature, characterized by similarities of form, style, or subject matters. It's those similarities that we tend to use to stereotype genres and the people that make or listen to them. By this definition, making changes to your musical genre isn't that hard to do. You might even say it's easy enough to do it by accident. What do I mean? Looking back at my first album, Mr. Nice Guy, it's easy to see how a high school relationship influenced seven-eighths of that album. Jumping to my second CD, Postcards from the Sun, the differences are apparent to the listener. My tone changed, my playing changed, my songwriting changed, and the point of the second album is completely different than the first. To put it more simply, I used to describe my sound as acoustic-based love songs. Now I'd be hard-pressed to pigeonhole myself that way, listening to my recent music. But did my genre change? I'd have to say no. But you know whose genre did change? Gwen Stefani went from ska girl to pop star. Bob Marley is famous for reggae, but he also recorded gospel, folk, and ska music. The Beastie Boys, renowned for groundbreaking hip-hop albums, actually started as a punk band. Katie Hudson morphed from a Christian artist to, well, Katy Perry. Then... Switching to classic rock, the Bee Gees originally were compared to the Beatles before disco, which never died, catapulted them to stardom. Jumping back to hip-hop, Kid Rock went from rap battles to rap rock. Sticking with rock, Metal God's Pantera got famous for blistering shows, but originally were a glam rock band. <coughs> you heard me. Also from the 90s, Darius Rucker of Hootie and the Blowfish made the move from alternative to country with some success. There's so many more, but you get the point. So in the end, it ultimately comes down to you. Are you feeling confined by your current songwriting style? Is there another genre that gets you pumped to hear it? My advice is simple. What are you afraid of? Change is inevitable and necessary for growth. The magic happens outside your comfort zone, so embrace the weird stuff and see what sticks. Your fans will most likely enjoy the new direction, and you might just gain some new fans with your boldness. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and it was helpful information. If you have any suggestions for more topics you'd like me to cover, please throw them in the comments below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. If you'd like to subscribe, please click here. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time in room six.